Okay. Uh, we have some question about the C program. All right. So uh, I'll just want to uh, address that. Okay. Uh, first of all, I can't go through the whole process. Okay. So I will give you this. This is my Google site. All right. Uh, I did not buy a URL, so it's a bit long. You should be able to find a section called Academic Corner. I'm leaving all my notes there. All right. Uh, well, I don't think I'll be taking them out anyway. Okay. And somewhere down here, there will be a uh, miscellaneous notes, and there will be two sections uh, about your C program. All right, C programming. Okay. Uh, the one down here is the one for Eclipse. Okay, so this one is actually for the Eclipse. So if you're using Eclipse with your Cywin and your Min GW, all right, so you will use this set of uh, notes over here. And of course, all right, they are mostly here. The version, of course, will change over time, but relatively, it will be more or less the same. But uh, for some students, they do not like to use uh, Eclipse. Uh, then, of course, the other option you have is to use the code block. You will still need the Cywin, right? and you will still need your min GW. Right? And uh, this is the things over here. All right? So I'll leave you with this. Okay. Now, of course, in C programming, all right, we have a lot of libraries. Okay. Uh, that we include uh, when we need it and they are actually called header files all right so some students are actually a bit confused about that so let's have a look at that okay so if you install your uh, min gw you should know where it is all right so for me my min gw is over here okay now there should be uh, a number of files depending on what you actually install but uh, I only install the GCC all right which is the uh, I should be able to show you this okay so I can run my main GW installation manager Okay, it's running and okay if I look at the basic setup uh, you will find that I'm actually using the GCC compiler over here I did not install the ADA Fortran or right, I only install this okay so this is my the only one that I actually have and of course I have the uh, install file version I can see all this uh, inside here Okay, I can see all this inside here. So I will be able to know where they actually are. All right, so I'm gonna close this, uh, go back to my NinGW. Okay, now if I look for the NinGW, all right, you will find that there are a lot of header files they are dot h see? h files right so these are all the header files and of course uh, the question is actually on wait, where is it ah here it is see this is your stdio right standard input output header file but actually as the the header files are very small you can see they are very small over here and they can actually be edited if you really want to right but of course try not to play around with it unless you are very sure uh what you're doing okay so i'm actually i can actually open the header file and i can actually change the header file if i want to some company actually does it all right so of course they will do a backup and then they will actually make changes to their header files and they have their or they create their own header files okay so uh, we are no longer using the turbo all right see 
so we have switched to your GCC so you should be able to find it inside here or under the include of the min GW